You like the faces the girls make? They're like, as they do their makeup. It's just like so impossible not to. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing this New Year's Eve look. I've got a lot of comments on it, and so I just wanted to share with you exactly how I did it, all the products that you'll need, and make sure that you stay tuned for more videos like this. So first off, I'm gonna start with True Match Lumi Health Luminous Makeup from L'Oreal. It's just a drugstore product. It's really not expensive, and I go through this type of thing so often that it's just too expensive to get like really nice um, products for just my face as much as I love to use like Lancome So I just put it onto the actual beauty blender. I know a lot of people say that it like Meshes into the beauty blender, but I just don't like to use my fingers because I feel like the grease for my fingers gets all over my face And I always bring it down onto my neck. I go in with the NARS. This is um, creme brulee, so it's light 2.5 um, and it's the Radiant Cream Concealer. I love this. This stuff's amazing. I have super bad bags under my eyes. So, always take your makeup off from the night before, guys. I put this concealer on the top, too. Just to brighten up my whole eye area. So, as you can see, that just brightens up everything and it gives it kind of a base. Next, I'm going to go in with Studio Fix Powder. I use NC30, and it looks kind of like this. It's just light, and it's not as heavy as putting like a really thick foundation on, which I really like. So I just put this everywhere. It just evens out my skin tone. Some of you may do contouring. I just think it's like there's more room for error when I do contouring. I just feel like I always am going to mess it up somewhere, and i just rather not have to deal with that. This isn't your perfect makeup tutorial. This is more like easy, night out, beautiful kind of thing. So this is the Naked Cosmetics and I'm just gonna bake a little bit. I just put a little bit of this and then put it underneath just to brighten it up. And then I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. And I'm actually gonna do my brows. So I'm using the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really like their products. I think this one's a little too dark for me, but I feel like when you're going out and taking pictures, it's actually really good to have a little shade darker with your eyebrows. And it may seem like really dark when you look in the mirror, but then when you're in pictures, it doesn't seem as dark. So I start and I just do one line underneath. And I just do one line underneath. So then I do kind of a line on top too. I go in with just a brown. I just happen to be using this Coastal Scents palette. I really like this palette. It's like so random. I got it off Zoo Lily, but it's got a brown in there that I like. This brown. And I just go in and I fill in the brows with like something that's a little bit lighter. So then I go in with the spoolie and just kind of like brush it into a little bit more natural look cream concealer on the edge of a brush and i'm just gonna go right underneath where my brows are okay so i'm sure there's like a better product than the makeup forever mist and fix to go underneath this is usually something you spray on top of things but i actually spray it underneath because it gets it wet and it's sticky and i let it dry for just a second and that's when i'm going to go in with the shadow so um, I just target it kind of towards my eyes. I was My mouth was open, so I definitely just don't do that. But, um, the Oasis Dew from Bella Pierre. And it's just like this pink color. I'm going to take some of this and just go on top right there. And come from the middle out for this look a dark purple instead of black I just think it looks nice and I just rub it in kind of pat it down and then tap it and then I'm gonna go just into the corners I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this like lighter purple too and go in kind of in the middle just to have like a little bit of a transition this is a brush the Luxie 239 precision shader 
can't remember the actual brand, but that's if you look that up, I'm sure you'll find it. These are the key elements that really make this look, and one is the white eyeliner. So I'm just gonna do the MAC, um, it's fascinating um, eye crayon, and it's gonna go all the way underneath. I always like to think of this look as the look that Britney has, the eyeliner underneath in Oops I Did It Again, because it really just like brightens up her eyes, and I think it does to mine too. And I get like crazy with the white, like it's really white because I feel like it just makes your eyes pop. Okay, I'm so sorry that the first half of this video is like not in focus. I thought I focused it right and it's not. I need to figure out the setting. I know I'm a photographer, but I still like haven't figured out the setting that like allows it to just constantly focus. I don't know if it's the lens or what, but it seems like it doesn't do that. But anyway, I'm gonna actually transition into to the face. This is intense stuff. This Bond Bell Glimmer Bronze is like a little bit goes a long way. I just take like the littlest bit. Oh, it's way too much. And then I powder it into this thing, knock it a lot. And then I do circular motions. It's a lot. And then I come up on the forehead. This is kind of my version of contouring. It's like an after contour thought. Like, I just don't see why I would need all this like contouring underneath it too. As you can tell, this is like an intense bronzer and I'm always gonna have to go back in with the studio fix and like touch it up because it's a little intense. Something that will really help is the highlighter to kind of like tone down this. I have kind of the base done, and now I'm gonna go in with just a Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. The liquid liner, I always feel like, makes or breaks a look. Like, it, it totally changes the look, and so, obviously, for like a New Year's Eve look, it's gotta be like intense, so I, of course, am going to do the liner. My boyfriend is always like, oh, you're gonna fly away, and I'm like, jeez, I love liner. So I'm just gonna take it really skinny. And then straight out. I always mess up one side and get one side like way longer and it like messes up my life. So obviously it like totally changes the look. So I got this in one of my like little Ipsy packages and it's the NYX Faux Blacks Black Olive. So it's kind of like an olivey color, which I think is really nice to not have like such a stark color underneath your eyes. And since I did the white, I'm just gonna go like. Softly. You can see how it's like not as intense of a black as the top. I take this highlighter do that. I go cheekbone, cheekbone with the highlighter. I always do a little bit on the nose. Take some on your finger. Just tad right there. Tad on your nose. Always highlight up here. And so for a lip, I'm just super into like nude lips. I always do a base of just chapstick. And then this is the Flesh pot. I just love flesh pot. I don't know why, but at first it's like really intense, but I think it's super pretty. So, anyway, I'm gonna do my hair like super big and put some extensions in and everything, but this is the look. I have uh, eyelash extensions, but um, otherwise, just you can wear lashes. I go like intense. I mean, New Year's Eve, you gotta have like intense. And then of course underneath. So then I finish up with the Makeup Forever spray. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you liked the looks in the comment and make sure that you let me know if you have any products that work better because I love trying new things. All right, have a great day guys. Happy New Year.